When your projector begins turning off unexpectedly, that is an event that will happen several times a year, that means that you need to clean your filter. Uh, this filter is loaded with dust and hair and more dust. That results in overheating which will destroy the equipment. So, unless you want to destroy a piece of equipment that's likely worth, I don't know, between 500 and 1,000 US dollars, be sure to clean your filters. And it's not always going to tell you to clean your filter. But it will turn off. So it'll start doing that unexpectedly and that will interrupt your classes. Now the way that most of our filters are, uh, there is two pieces. Um, the outside piece has bigger holes in it. And the inside piece is kind of like cloth. And also, the inside piece has uh, this uh, glue that holds it together, helps it keep its shape. That glue does not face out. That glue faces in. And that's about everything you need to know to keep your filters uh, clean. Uh, when it is time to clean them out, uh, I think the best approach is to first use your fingers and just pull that stuff off. Just just pinch it off. Um, and then, you know, a lot of this is going to be very fine. Look at that. All I did was lay, lay it down uh, on top of my mouse pad. What? Oh, that was a mistake. This stuff is way dirty. So, uh, uh, my recommendation is you take it to the sink. Pick out the big stuff, throw that in the trash, wash your hands, um, and then let water fall onto your filter um, in the opposite direction that air would be uh, normally flowing through it. And that is going to uh, get it pretty darn clean. And after that, you can slap that thing back together and slide it back in. That's it. That's all there is to know about this. Um, it's something that needs to be done on, you know, if you really want to do good uh, on a quarterly basis. Um, and at the very minimum, once every six months, uh, we really should be doing uh, about every four months.